Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our web hosting pad account and as you can see we've already opened the welcome email. We'll begin by clicking on the link for the control panel. We'll log in. And here you can see the web hosting pad cPanel control panel. We'll go to the Software Services section and click on the Softaculous icon. This is the Softaculous Apps Installer. We'll click on the Install WordPress button. And this is the form we'll need to submit in order to install WordPress. We'll begin with the selection of a protocol. We'll select the triple W version. Choose domain. The domain name here is correct. In directory, as we would like the WordPress installation to be the content management system for our entire website, we're going to install it in the root directory and we will X out WP database name the default here is fine table prefix the default is also fine site name will give our site a name site description will give our site a description Note that both the site name and the site description can be later changed using the WordPress dashboard, so you needn't worry about getting them exactly right the first time. Enable multi-site, as we only require one installation of WordPress. We'll leave that unchecked. Admin username. Admin is fine. Password. We'll paste a secure password here. Admin email. The default here is fine. Select language. English is fine. Limit login attempts. This is an excellent plugin I highly recommend. It helps to thwart hackers so we'll check that off. Next we'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We would like to receive our update notifications so we'll leave it unchecked. Auto upgrade. We would like our WordPress installation upgraded automatically. We'll check that off. Auto upgrade plugins. That's a time saver. We'll also check that off. Auto upgrade theme, same for that. We'll check it off. Automated backups, we would like our site backed up. So we'll select once a week. Backup rotation, this is the number of copies of our site that remain on the server, and four should do just fine. Next, we can select a theme other than the default theme but for our purposes this isn't necessary. We'll leave the default theme and the next thing we need to do is click the install button. And as you can see WordPress is installing. And the message tells us that the software was installed successfully. Next, we'll click on the WP Admin link and take a look at our new WordPress dashboard. Now, it is important to note here that this is not our WordPress login screen. This is actually an extra Windows security step, and in order to log in, we need to follow the directions provided. It tells us to enter username AOH. QCJ
and a password of 21. We'll try that. And here we have the WordPress login screen. We'll enter the information we created on the WordPress installation form. And here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. From here, we can control all of the settings associated with the WordPress site. To create a new post, we simply go to plus, new, post. Enter a title for our post here. Enter our post content here and click the publish button. But we won't be creating a new post today. We're simply going to take a look at our new site by using the visit site link at the top of the dashboard. And here you can see our brand new WordPress site. We can change the look of the site by selecting a different theme from the WordPress dashboard. We can also delete the default Hello World post by using the dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.